So Daniel, talk some about natural medicine versus man-made medicine. Mm -hmm. um, there was a moment when I was, um, you know, doing the traditional health, you know, you have to get this physical and that physical. And I went to a doctor and he said, your cholesterol is very high and um, your breathe rate, right, your, you know, your breathing is very low. And I'm like, okay. He's like, are you like a, a runner? Are you this, are you that? And I'm like, no, I'm just active. And I eat, you know, I eat a lot of fatty foods. And um, what happened was he just looked at one number on the cholesterol. He didn't look at the total wall, like, you know, the ratio. And the ratio was actually good because I don't know if you know much about cholesterol. There's two different numbers and there's a good fat and a bad fat. My good fat was double, double the normal um, recommended rate. So if you did the ratio, it was actually in a good ratio, but he looked at the total number. And so he said, you have high cholesterol. I should put you on a, a cholesterol medication. I was like, seriously? Cholesterol medication because I have the right fat. And so at that moment, I questioned the whole pharmaceutical side of things. I questioned all that, you know, the, um, the current state of the healthcare. And I said, I want to take responsibility for my, my body and my health. Thank you. I don't, you but, know, but I'm going to push back. How many people actually do that though? Not many, not many because we've given our, um, our responsibility to other people. we trust the doctor more than we trust our internal innate wisdom about taking care of our body. You know, you know more about your body than your doctor's ever going to know about you. You know, your doctor sees for 15 minutes, you tell him some, some symptoms He's going to go ahead and do his, you know, his algorithms and he's going to be like, okay, I think it's this based on the, the data he, he grabs. But it's actually, it's like, well, no, um, actually I just had a stressful event. I haven't been sleeping and all these other things. And it's like, and, um, and what I haven't the, been eating, you know, what, what if the doctor does ask you the right questions and you forget to say something that's important. It's 15 minutes. There's only 15 minutes. Exactly. Exactly. So natural medicine to me is about, um, taking care of the whole body because these natural medicines work at a deep level with the pituitary gland, which is the master hormone regulator of our bodies. And our bodies are literally hormone machines. We're literally chemical machines. You know, we have dopamine, you have serotonin. Um, and so literally when you take care of the mass, the hormone, the source, your body's going to change in ways. I call it, um, they're called adaptogens, like these herbs kind of fall in this category of adaptogens, where literally imagine a mechanic would go through your body and like tweak this and say, oh, we need to top off. You're a little dehydrated. Okay. So we're going to, you know, we're going to pull some water out of your, your kidneys, for instance, or we're going to pull some water out of your cells and we're going to give it here. We're going to shunt some blood here. Oh, you, you injured your shoulder. Okay. We need to give more blood to that area. Um, and then also regulate your liver, you know, and um, and your oxygen level and your alkalinity. And like, literally, it's like a mechanic in your body that you don't have to think about. You don't have to be an expert about. And your body's and this, the wisdom of the plant and the wisdom of your body work together. And you think about these, some of these herbs, they've been adapting on this planet for billions of years, depending on which plant you're talking about. So in that process, they've had to learn to grow, protect itself, survive, adapt, so thrive. And you take that wisdom and you put that in your body and your body starts to be like, oh, thank you. Oh, wow, this feels great. You know, like all of a sudden, maybe you have um, high, high sugar, you have a problem with sugar regulation. And all of a sudden your pancreas is like, oh my gosh, thank you for that chromium because now I don't have to work as hard to produce insulin. So, you know, there's a lot of things. It's a, it's a more of a holistic uh, approach and going back to rather than stretching versus movement, it's like the overall totality of movement. So it's like a movement approach versus a stretching, a flexibility approach to the body.